So today we are doing this problem from uh, Lead Code Contest 160. And so the problem is 1, 2, 3, 8, and says that we have a circular permutation in a binary representation. That's the, the title. Now, what is the problem? We get two integers, n and start, and we want to return any permutation uh, from 0 to 2 to the power of n minus 1, such that every number it has a couple of properties. The first property is that the first element has to be start that we get as input here. And the second property is that um, every element and the next differ by only one bit in their binary representation. Um, the last property is that every element, the first element and the last element also differ by one bit. So it's cyclic. And this portion here, the two last properties are the exact definition of gray code. And I have a video that explains in details what the gray code are and how to generate a sequence for them. I will put it in the description. Um, so please watch that first and then come back to this video. So the, the only difference in this problem is that the sequence has to start with the value start, right? So that's the only difference. Um, you could look at the example. Um, it just shows that each of them differ by one bit. Um, and then that it starts with the value that we have as input here, right? And so um, once you watch that video, please come back to this after that. Um, I'll just use the exact formula that comes from that, uh, from that solution. So uh, let's first, let's see how we can solve this. So I'm just going to get rid of this for a moment. Um, and so the way we are going to solve this is first, we're just going to generate the sequence um, gray code sequence using the exact formula from the, the previous uh, from the video that I have in the description uh, starting from zero right so we'd have for let's say n equal to 2 as in the example we would have starting from 0 0 um, 0 0 and then the bit 0 1 so they differ by one bit and then 1 0 and then 1 1 uh, so this would be the gray code and then um, once we have the gray code let's say we'll put it in a list in, in order, we wanted to start with the value start, which is 3, right? So in order to do that, we can simply just get the index of that, right? So we would get that it starts at position 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So we will have i, and in this case, i would be equal to 3. And all I need to do is I can just return um, the portion starting from i, right? And so I would get, and then the portion ending just before i right so this way i would have i starts i would have the list of the sequence starts with the value start right um, and so this will basically say okay let's just put 11 right one one here and then put the rest which is this portion here uh, so that portion would be Um, yeah, so pretty much just the portion after i and then the portion before i so that I can have this one starts first. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so let's, let's, let's write it down. So first we need res and then we need to go with i in range of uh, 1 to n and then we need to add to res. This is the, just the exact formula of generating uh, a great code from the from a binary uh, that we have in the previous video. And so we would have one like this and then so let's just print res to show you what's in there. Um, So it has 0, 1, and 3. So it has 0, this value is 1, and then 1, 1, actually, and then uh, 2 is 1, 0, right? And so if we do this here, what res i, the index would be actually 2, and what we will get is the portion just ending at this, right? F from i to the rest of the list, so that would be like this. And then after that, we'll get the portion before that, right? So 0, 0. 0, 1. So you can see they still differ by one bit, right? Because the final sequence we will get is like this. 
um, and 0, 1 is still d still differs by just one bit to 1, 1. And we still have, um, uh, and we have the sequence cor correctly, starting with, uh, with the value start, right? And so let's just do that then. So this, that would be, and we can just run this. And submit. Okay, so that solution passes. Um, yeah, so um, next we'll look at um, at a different solution. Um, and uh, um, okay, so now let's see how we can come up with a different solution. So let's say we want to avoid needing to get the index here, right? So one trick we can do that is just inst here, we want to st always start with the value start. So we can just XOR with that like this and that way we don't need to um, we don't need to return the index because it will automatically start it will start with start because of this XOR here um, so let me just put parentheses and we can return res so let me just show you first because this may be not um, So let's say we have the value three, right? Let's say value three. Um, if we XOR, so this is, uh, let's say our start value is three, right? So in our sequence here, um, we have first the value zero. So three XOR zero would give us three. So we will get, so we will get one one first, right? So we'll get one one first, right? So remember our sequence, um, original sequence is like this. Um, our original um, gray code sequence without not starting from start necessarily is this. So this is the gray code sequence. And now we want to start with start. So you can see three with zero is three. So that means that this would make our sequence be first three so one one and now if I do three zero right so so the next one would be zero one right so if we do zero one which is two you can see now we get one so we get zero one and then they differ by one bit right and then now we do three with the next value in the gray sequence, which would we would come up with um, with this way, so we get one one, which is uh, three. So we'd get zero, right? So we get zero zero because an element is with the solid is zero, and then three with the last one, which is two. Uh, so yeah, two. So that would give us. Actually, I made a mistake here because the second one should be XORed with one which would give us two which would be one zero and then here when we XOR with one zero which is XORing with two we would get one so we'll get zero one so we'll end up with this sequence which also has all the properties of the of the of the problem definition here um, and this works because um, because XORing z any element any value with zero would give the value itself so that guarantees to us because the, the gray code sequence starts with the zero that guarantees to us that we are starting with start and then XORing an element with itself um, you can see it gives us zero and then XORing with it. so it, it doesn't make it viable if you XOR with three it each uh, they already differ by one bit they will still differ by one bit right um, and yeah so that's it for this solution um, and yeah that's it for now um, thanks for watching and see